all and welcome once again to Javi's Kitchen. Today I'm here with another exciting recipe of Afghani chicken. This is a very quick and easy recipe with very less ingredients. So quickly let's begin and start making our Afghani chicken. For that what we require is, this is 1 kg of chicken, cream, 150 gram of yogurt, 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste this is dhania powder or coriander powder cumin powder also called as zeera powder this is fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi salt garam masala here I am having one and half medium sized uh, onion 4 green chilies and coriander so let's make the paste of onions, coriander and green chilli together. So first of all in a blender I am going to put the onions, the green chillies, and the coriander all together and make a smooth paste of it. So this is how I have made the paste of the onions, green chillies, and the coriander and now let's begin mixing with the chicken. Here I have taken 1 kg of chicken to which I am going to add all the ingredients. This is 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. The green masala what I prepared. I am going to pour entire into this yogurt. This is 150 grams of yogurt. Fresh cream around 3 tablespoons. a very rich kind of gravy so cream goes in here now in the powdered masala I'm going to add the coriander powder one big tablespoon the cumin powder also one big tablespoon this is fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi Rub this on hand and then put it like this. This will give flavor to your chicken and the required quantity of salt as per taste. And finally, garam masala around one teaspoon. for at least half an hour so that the chicken gets well marinated inside this we should take care that when we wash the chicken you remove the entire water from it so that uh, you do not get a watery marinade afterwards so just mix this well and keep aside for half an hour half an hour we have marinated our chicken and it is nice and ready now now we are going to fry this chicken in a pan I'm going to take around three tablespoons of oil three to four tablespoons of oil to fry the chicken that should be enough and I'm going to add the chicken to this chicken just drop the extra gravy and put it on the pan just drop the extra gravy So here you can see I have added all the chicken to this oil and I will let it fry on one side nicely so that it gets a nice color and then I will flip it up. So let's wait till one side gets cooked nicely and then we will turn over the chicken. You can 
can see it is nicely getting cooked and the chicken is also leaving its water so it's the oil along with water which is oozing out like this so you're not going to turn at this stage you're going to wait till the water gets vanished and then you're going to turn the chicken you can see the water has reduced and it is only oil left now and now let's try to turn this and see if we got the color yes we got the color there you can see here so we are going to flip all the chicken what a beautiful golden color we got here lovely so both the sides we want the chicken to get nicely cooked and get this coating like this done on one side and I'm going to fry it on the other side so now let this cook for at least six to eight minutes without disturbing it now it's time and let's turn it from the other side as well now I have used this pan because the bottom is flat and it is broad and I get space for my chicken to fry but for the gravy I will want to change the pan and I will change it in a kadhai so that uh, the gravy comes nicely this will be very uh, small for me to mix it nicely so I will just change the pan now friends you can see I have transferred the entire chicken in this kadhai And my chicken is nicely cooked as well and the aroma is beautiful I'm telling you now I will transfer the remaining marinade to this chicken and this will form the gravy of our chicken so nothing gets wasted here and with simple simple ingredients you are getting a very nice and rich and very easy gravy chicken afghani mix it well now once uh, you add the gravy you can put the heat to medium low do not cook it on high flame gravy is not very watery but a thick gravy so just take care about it that it does not burn I have not added any additional oil to this it is the same oil from the pan in which I fried the chicken water and rinse my pan as there was a lot of masalas in it and I'm going to add this to the gravy and mix this well now once you add the water to the gravy now it will bubble up when the gravy gets cooked so please close the kadai because it is not safe close and cook it at least for 10 minutes and then we are done so let's keep it undisturbed for 10 minutes and then we will do a procedure so friend it is 10 minutes and now let's remove it wow the smell is awesome bahut hi bahut hi lajawab smell hai and I'm going to add a little bit of garam masala more just about two pinch and mix it well wow this gravy is looking so awesome and the smell of this gravy is so nice I'm feeling hungry you know 
with the smell it's really really awesome and the texture of this gravy is very very nice it is done now the gravy is very thick you can see for yourself this is not a very watery gravy now i will switch off the stove and close the lid and keep this for 10 minutes now let's open the kadai wow look at the glaze to the gravy what i have done here is i have burnt a coal and kept it in a bowl and now i'm going to make some space in this kadai and put it right inside there here i'm having some cardamom and clove which i added to this oil to this and close the lid now let this get cooled in this vessel itself look the smoke is completely inside the kadhai if you want you can even close this hole with some packing otherwise it's okay the smoke will completely remain inside the kadhai and give our afghani chicken a very smoky flavor and whenever you will take a bite of your gravy or the chicken you will feel the smoky aroma in your gravy and keep this like this for 10 to 15 minutes or maybe half an hour just leave it and then we will dish this out and show you our final presentation so friends our coal has been cooled down completely and the gravy is looking very very nice and thick remove this coal very gently so friends our chicken afghani is ready and it is looking very very yummy and delicious and the chicken has got a beautiful color there and i have uh, garnished it with uh, onion and coriander you can also garnish with uh, mint leaves if you wish so this is very awesome very delicious chicken afghani for you all and the favorite part to taste this and tell you how did this come out so here it is mm. very delicious very yummy very flavorful you can feel the aroma as you chew the chicken and the gravy very tasty very yummy i'm sure you all will like it very simple recipe please write to me how did you like it please comment and meet you again another time with another video till then have a nice day bye bye